This video will help you install your thermostat if you do not have a wire labeled C, but you do have an extra wire in the wire bundle at your wall. Note that your extra wire might be wrapped around the bundle and tucked inside your wall. Before you label and disconnect the wires at your old thermostat, you need to identify your current wires and system type. When looking at your wires, you may see the following situations. You may have a heat pump system that has different letter terminals. If you have wires connected to the O or B terminals, you may have a heat pump system and it will be helpful to refer to the wiring section of your user guide. You may notice a wire that looks like this, known as a jumper wire. Note if you have a jumper wire between R and RC terminals. Next, use the supplied sticky tags to label each wire according to the letter on the terminal in which it is inserted. Label the extra wire with a C sticky tag. Do not label the wires based on their color because wire color does not necessarily indicate the wire's function. After labeling your wires, use a screwdriver to loosen the terminals and pull the wires out. Now you can remove the wall plate of your old thermostat. When removing it, take care to ensure none of the wire labels fall off and that none of the wires fall through the wall opening. Here's a helpful hint. Wrapping the wires around a pencil can prevent them from falling back through the wall after removing your old wall plate. Now it is time to begin installing your new thermostat. Locate the wall plate. It's in the package next to the manuals. You'll want to set the thermostat aside for now and begin mounting the wall plate. Position it so the wire hole is centered and pull the wires through the hole. Now is a good time to verify if it is level. Using a pencil, mark the positions of both screw holes on the wall. If you don't already have holes in the areas you marked, you'll want to make pilot holes for the screws and anchors. If you are mounting the thermostat on drywall or plaster, use the drill bit indicated in your user guide. Once you have pilot holes, use a hammer to tap the anchors into the pilot holes. Next, after inserting the anchors, it's time to attach the wall plate. Position the wall plate so its holes are over the anchors and insert the screws. Use a screwdriver or drill to partially tighten the screws, then level the wall plate again before tightening up the screws. Okay. Now before you connect the wires, take note of the color of the extra wire you labeled C. Next, go to your heating and cooling systems terminal block to look for the same colored wire. The terminal block is located in your heating and cooling system. Not all terminal blocks will look the same, but they should have the same letter designations for the thermostat connections. At the terminal block, find the wire bundle with the same color wires as you have at your thermostat. Within the wire bundle, locate the wire that is the same color as the extra wire you have at your thermostat and ensure it is not connected. Then, connect that wire to the C terminal on your terminal block. When you are done, make sure you put the heating and cooling system door back on properly so that the interlock switch allows the power to be turned on for the system and the thermostat display. Now, Go back to your thermostat and insert the extra wire you labeled C into the C terminal on your wall plate. This will provide the required power for your heating and cooling system to your thermostat. At this time, also connect all the other labeled wires to their designated letter terminals on your wall plate. Refer to the wiring section of your user guide or visit wifithermostat.com slash support if you need assistance with wiring. After you've finished connecting all the wires, push any excess wire back into the wall opening. Align the thermostat to the wall plate and snap it in place. Switch the power back on for your heating and cooling system at the circuit breaker box or the system switch. This should power up your thermostat's display to begin the initial setup. Begin by selecting the language to be displayed on the thermostat and press Next to continue. If at any time you need assistance, simply select Help for more details. Choose either Home or Business. This optimizes the terminology and preset schedule for either installation situation. Continue by selecting Next. Following this, create a unique name if desired by pushing the thermostat button. This will come in handy when accessing the thermostat remotely, especially if you have multiple thermostats. Continue by selecting Next. It is especially important that you set up the correct system type 
so your heating and cooling system functions properly. To get started, choose if the thermostat is used to control heating, cooling, or both and select Next to continue. To have the thermostat work correctly, it is important to select whether you have a forced air, heat pump, or hot water steam system. The next screen will further define the system based on your system type selection. To determine your system type, press Help on your thermostat screen or visit wifithermostat.com slash support. When you've finished making changes, press Done to save and exit. Congratulations! You are now ready to connect your thermostat to your home's Wi-Fi network. For assistance with this process, watch the video on wifithermostat.com slash videos called Honeywell Do-It-Yourself Wi-Fi Smart Thermostat Wi-Fi Enrollment and Registration.